today's class, <laughs> we'll learn how to make a balloon dog. Woof, woof. Oh, a poodle dog, to be exact. Step one, blow up a balloon. We'll start out making a body that's about 12 inches long, like this. Out of a white 260Q, or a poodle could be any color really, I like to use light colors like pink or light blue so that you can draw on the little eyes. Step two, make the body. We'll start with the head, and we'll make about an inch, an inch and a half for the head. Twist it three times, hold on to it, and we're gonna make three little balls to go on the very top of the face. And this will be the little poof that he wears in his hair. One, two, three twists is usually a good idea. Three, see how they're very similar in shape? And now I'll wrap the head around the base. See? Hello. And now he's gonna have a neck, which is a little bit bigger than the head, a little bit bigger than the top of the head. And then I'm gonna give him legs, about an inch and a half, or two inches. And then I wrap those guys together like so while I'm still holding onto the top. You can let them go now because they're all securely fastened. And see, we have this much left. We're gonna leave a little bit of a body and enough to make two legs at the back. So this size body, and you want the legs at the back to be about the same size as the legs in the front. So we're gonna twist three times, twist three times. The glove's getting caught. Don't bite me, puppy. Okay, all right, be a good dog, okay? Thank you. Step three, make the tail. Okay, he's a little wiggly right now. We're gonna make a ball in the middle of the piece that he has left for his bottom and we'll wrap your whole hand around the ball and block the air with your thumb and forefinger and then grab this other hand and notice how this is very tight, my finger and the base of my palm. We're gonna squeeze my hand and force the air to go to the very tip. So I'm gonna block the air here, squeeze, oh, look! I like to have kids blow like, and magically the ball comes up. Hello. <laughs> You're pretty cute. I like to use a black Sharpie marker and put some little eyes right here so we can see where he's walking. And I usually tell people to make sure they feed him every day, a couple times a day, and then take him for a little walk right around the block. Till next time. Want Silly Sally's to come to your party or other event? Contact Silly Sally's Entertainment at 888-78-SILLY. That's 888-787-4559 or sillysallys.com. Us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter and check out sillyacademy.com.